hello again boys and girls. I know we don't usually do signs on Mondays because you have two specials, but this is a special week. This week we celebrate Earth Day. It's the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. Not that the Earth is only 50 years old, but we're going to learn all about Earth Day this week and special things that we need to do to help take care of our Earth. So as you can see behind me, I have this great little poster that says, Love Our Planet. Reduce reuse and recycle and we're going to learn all different ways besides those that we can help the earth I know that when we are learning of God's creation and all of his wonderful gifts hold on. we talked about how we could take care of the earth right now I'm going to read you a story it's one of my favorites and it has beautiful pictures in it because we don't want to just take care of the earth for us we want to take care of the earth for God and all of his creatures. So the story that I'm going to read now is called Dear Children of the Earth, A Letter from Home. It has beautiful pictures. So right now I'm introducing what we're going to be working on all week, talking about the earth and how we can take care of it. Dear Children of the Earth, I'm writing this letter to ask for your help. Do you know who I am? I am the planet Earth. But I am much more than just a planet. I am your home. I am your mother Earth. And just like you, there is only one of me. So I am very special too. I need to be loved and cared for, just like you. Let me tell you more about myself. I am the boulders and trees you love to climb. I am the wet sand at the beach that squishes under your bare feet. I am the grass you lie down on when you look up at my clouds. I am the rivers and lakes and oceans you love to swim in. I am the cool green forests, the red hot deserts, and the cold white glaciers. I love to hug you with my warm sunshine and tickle you with my wind and kiss you with my rain. Now let me ask you something. When you look in the mirror, what do you see? You see your eyes, of course. You see your hair, your nose, your mouth. And if you smile, you see your teeth. Do you know what I see when I look in the mirror? I see all of the animals walking on my land. I see all the birds flying in the sky. I see all the fish, whales, and dolphins swimming in my oceans. And all of these animals I see are my children too, just like you. Because we're all part of God's creation. Remember, St. Francis taught us that all God's creation are like brothers and sisters to each other. But there is something else I see when I look in the mirror. I see all of you. I see you too, because you are my children. All of the animals that live on me are your brothers and sisters. We are all one big family. But many people still don't know they are my children and that all of the animals are their brothers and sisters. They still don't know that we are one big family. <clears throat> the animals have told me, We are worried, Mother Earth. We are afraid because our homes are being destroyed by people who don't know better or don't care. They don't know that we are their brothers and sisters. Mother Earth, these people are cutting down our forests, dumping garbage in our oceans and rivers, and filling our sky with pollution. Tell me, my children, where will the animals live when all my forests are gone? Where will the whales and dolphins swim when my oceans are too dirty to live in? And where will the birds fly when the sky is poisoned? Oh, look at these pictures. It looks like the animals are calling for help. And 
imagine what life would be like with no wild animals living on me? What if there were no elephants in Africa? No tigers in India? No pandas in China? What if there are no penguins in Antarctica? No kangaroos in Australia? And no grizzly bears in the United States? Imagine my oceans with no whales or dolphins swimming in them, and all the seals and sea otters gone. Imagine how empty my blue sky would look with no birds flying, and think how quiet the trees would be with no birds singing. I would be so lonely. Wouldn't you be lonely too? Don't we love all of those beautiful creatures? And so, my children, I need your help. And the animals need your help, too. But Mother Earth, you ask, how can I help you and all my brothers and sister animals when you are so big and I am so small? What can we do, right? Well, my children, let me tell you something. I am not so big. As a matter of fact, I'm quite small. When you go outside at night and look at all the millions and millions of stars, you will see how small I really am. Compared to the night sky, I'm really no bigger than you. But because I look so big, people think I don't know what they do to me. They think I can't feel what they do to me. But I do know and I do feel. Right? Especially the animals, they feel it. My children, when people do little things to me, it becomes a big thing. So it's very important for each to stop doing things that hurt me or hurt their brother and sister animals. Now these animals, of course, aren't really in space. It's the author and the illustrator's way of saying that they are part of the earth too. Remember, there is only one of me, and there are billions of people. So when each person does a little something to help me, it makes a big difference. A very good difference, right? If each person, if everybody helps, it makes a big difference. Aren't the pictures beautiful? Now, do you think, oh, sorry, now what do you think is the biggest, most important thing you can do to help me? What do you think I need from you more than anything else in the world? I will tell you. I need you to love me. That's all. Just love me as much as I love you. Because when you love me, you will take care of me. And when you care for me, you will protect me. And when you care for me and protect me, you will save your home and the homes of many of the brother and sister animals. My children, tell your friends and other people what I have told you. Tell them I am their only home and that I need them to love me and care for me. Tell them all the animals are their sisters and brothers and that we are all one big family. 
and tell them too that I always know when they do little things to help me. My dear children of the earth, I will now end my letter to you. Remember, I am your home, and just like you, there is only one of me. Uh, if you love me, care for me, and protect me, I will always be your home forever and ever. I love you with all of my heart, Mother Earth. I thought that would be a good story to read you as our introduction to Earth Day this week and all the different things we're going to learn in science about how we can better take care of the Earth. You always hear Miss Sweeney say in the classroom, you're wasting God's gift of water. Well, yes, that, that's part of it. And when I say you're using too many paper towels, they come from trees, we're going to learn all about how we can do our special part. And we're going to have some special projects and crafts to go along with all the learning for Earth Day that we're going to do this week. And here's a great picture for you to color, and you should really take your time. I think this picture describes that story very nicely and you can use your new crayons or your markers but it's one of my favorites is the earth with all different animals around it okay so we're going to talk about earth this week okay i'll see you tomorrow